Well, good morning, Rinconians. Rincon Steve with you. I just wanted to apologize. Um, it's been a few weeks uh, since my last posting. And um, it's because we've been traveling. We've been on the road. We uh, traveled from North Dakota to New Hampshire, which is my hometown. I'm presently at my my mother's house where I grew up. Uh, so as, as you can see, there's autumn. Autumn in the air. Uh, leaves haven't changed too much yet. I guess you can see some across the way there that looks kind of nice. Anyway, I uh, just wanted to tell you that we actually drove in our teardrop out here. We didn't drive in it, but we pulled it along. And uh, so it's finished and it's worked really nice. We actually went camping uh, last weekend in Vermont. So uh, just kind of whetting your appetite to let you know that uh, this project does get finished. And uh, you know, it's been a couple weeks of videos that I need to post eventually uh, as we make progress on the build. So I just wanted to give you an update and I might even give a flash of the finish just to, just to tease you a little bit. All right, so everyone stay tuned. A lot of good videos. I appreciate all the new subscribers. We've had a lot of responses, especially to the Phylon video. Uh, I know that's a, a subject that uh, a lot, a lot of uh, RVers have questions about. And hopefully we cover other things that you're interested in. All right, so this is Rincon Steve telling you, stay tuned. So next, what's up next? Well, after framing, you do rough electrical, right? So um, you remember I've got some switches behind here. Got to drill a, drill a hole for uh, lights, and then we're gonna take some wire, and we've got we got to bring some wire up for our recessed lights. It's over here, and we have a fan that's over here. We'll get wiring in for that, and uh, everything will be brought back to here to this control panel that you see here. <laughs> the control panel that will be there, but that'll be good because I think we can get our wires right up through. We'll drill right down through there so we'll get everything run all right okay so we got a line all the way through Can you hear the rain? Rain on the roof. Well, filming has to go on even if it's raining out. <clears throat> Can't wait for the weather. We're just happy we're inside. Okay, so here's that uh, circuit I ran from the to the front of the trailer, which goes right in that first shelf, which will feed the um, the lights and the USB plug-in. So I'm just going to take a minute now and label this so that we know where it goes. I'll call it um, USB. Front lights. Okay. Oh, it got quiet. Part of our electrical rough cut out the opening for the fan. Of course, we start with a hole.
Should have had a dust mask. All right. There's our skylight. I hope it was right. Because there it is. All right, so we drilled our hole. That's where it should lay out. Can run our wires to here. All right. I should show you these cool LED downlights I got. Here's one taken apart. And uh, they just, the lens screws off. So you just drill a hole in the, in the uh, ceiling like I've just done here. And that pops right in right there. Okay, so the other issue here is I have six of these down lights. And I was thinking I was going to put four of them in here, but with the offset of the fan, I don't think four will look right. I don't need that many. So I've got one in the center here, is four just before the curve starts. And I'm thinking I'm going to just do another two back here just before it starts to curve. Uh, probably about here and there. So I got that all laid out and I'm gonna, I'll cut it now. Okay, so you just drill to get your hole. So the layout's from up top and now to get a clean hole I'll go back up through. Like that. Just to the other side. And uh, just to run down what we did yesterday, uh, we've got a lot of things done. Um, finished up with the spars and the braces and all the edge pieces and uh, started on the wiring. And uh, layout for the lights, fan. And then the last thing I did, you can see I ran some um, adhesive around all the seams on the spars and braces just to tighten it up. It was all glued um, underneath, but just for added assurance. <clears throat> and I just wanted to show you one other thing here that I'm a little concerned about and I'm trying to do something. You see on this radius here, this plywood is cracking. This, this is too tight for that turn. I think it's actually designed to turn the other way instead of out the uh, veneer, the finished veneer, it would bend better the uh, this way instead of flipped around in it on the inside. So it cracks. And yesterday I got a tube of uh, epoxy and I uh, used some drywall um, tape and that's how far one tube took me. That was two coats. So I'm going to get more epoxy. I think it's good to reinforce these cracks on this side. Um, I'll show you on the inside. You don't see the crack, but you can see that it's... Well, you can't see it with this camera, but when the light is right, it, you can tell it's very thin. And I'm just concerned over time with movement, traveling, vibration, that that crack will migrate all the way through. And uh, so I think if reinforcing it with that epoxy will help a lot, just just to be sure. Okay, so what we're going to do now is obviously uh, one of the steps is to get insulation done. That would be the next step on the outside. But before that, um, I got to install the lights, but I don't want to do any installation here until all my finishes are done inside. So I have this all the ceiling to coat. I get a couple, you know, ceiling and walls and as far as this goes, and second coat on other things. So I want to get caught up on all the finishes, and I might as well spend the day doing that. I've got all the little components, my lids, my drawers, my doors, all here ready to go. Some of them are coated on one side. They need two to three coats to, to look right. So that'll be the project for today, just focusing on coating. Not very interesting, but 
something that needs to be done and in the end makes everything look really good. So we still have another coat to do on uh, parts of the doors. These are cabinet doors or little hatches. Which leads me to one other thing I wanted to make sure to show you is uh, along with uh, before I insulate it, I need to get my wiring done. So I got my uh, panel in, my little um, breaker panel for all my circuits. Got my controller in, I got that all wired. And that looks really nice when you put the lid in. Nice and clean. See that? Yeah, that was pretty sharp. Everything lines up really nice here. Well, I spent a lot of time notching this and getting that just right. And of course the one down here. So I'm happy with that. Okay, let's test our lights. Right here is where the switch is. And we're just gonna hook it to some power here. Just to make sure before I shrink wrap all that stuff that this is gonna work. Oops, wrong wires. that before. Oop. Oop, 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 oop. All right, negative is white. Red is positive. There we go. All right, classy. Classy. Okay, let's go on to the next step. I think I showed you these before, these cute little reading lights that we're going to mount on the underside of that front cabinet. I've got the holes laid out. I just drilled them out. Stuck that first light up there that's just sitting there. It's, um, I need to put the screws in to hold it up. Right now the wires are just holding it in place. So we have two of them and that'll be the where the hole is, is where the on off switch will be. Just a little touch button. So. Get those installed. Okay, the other thing we're putting there in that center front cabinet is our USB um, plug-in. You can have two of them. In most cases, you have two phones to plug in. So uh, I made up this little panel. I like this. It's got the on-off. I think this lights up when it's on, so we can shut it off. We got the one and then this other one. Oops, we'll put here. Okay. And I'll just use, I uh, think I will use my cabinet screws just to hold this into place in that center area. I'll show you that. I got all my cute little plates fixed up here. I got them urethaned. Varnish, I should say. Thought they came out quite well. So this is where that um, switch will go into, and then we'll place it on the underside of that. Hold on now. Took two hands. Put it on the under underside of that shelf out front, and just touch it. All right, I got the switches in. You can see the little switch plate and it's glowing. It's glowing because the lights are on. So I think that finished out pretty nice. Here's the other one. This is the reading lights. They're installed in the plate. And I'll just turn it on. Whoa, blinded. So those turned out well too. You see that? The uh, installation of my USB ports. I've actually got the batteries hooked up too. And I got the fan installed. <clears throat> and that works as well. Crank the. Very quiet. So that's nice. And it's got both reverse, forward and reverse, in and out, however you want to call it. 
Yeah, looking good. Well, that's it for now on our teardrop build. I do appreciate you all watching, and I look forward to seeing you here again.